while the immaterial thing is really that the government is shut down, we kind of know the numbers that it's all of 0.16% of US GDP that's at cost every year. We also know that it's only one third of government that is shutting down, namely that portion of government which the congressional committees can appropriate money to. And of that one third, it's only one half of that. So it's one sixth, again, 0.16% of US GDP. Not a big deal. The big deal is really that Congress has shut down. It's become an absolute zoo. They may have shut down the park, the national parks in America, but they certainly have opened the national zoo called Congress. And so I don't. Th I think that this is the big deal because of the default concerns that are going to come from this later on. So that's the big deal. It's the congressional shutdown. It's not the government shutdown. I think they should be shorting stocks because I think that what we're going to see is a huge spike in U.S. bond yields once it becomes very clear that Congress has no interest, absolutely no interest in solving this problem. And the reason that I say this is because Congress is now already focused very much on those 2014, the November the 4th, 2014 elections one-third of the Senate, the whole of the House, and that's what they're really going for. The current squabble is immaterial to them. It's a vehicle, it's a stepping stone to get reelected. So I'm saying, I'm suggesting to your viewers that I think that you'll find the stock market really having a very, very tumultuous ride. Certainly the bond market having a huge spike in yields. In other words, the price is going down. So my view would be short the bonds, go long of gold, go long the Swiss franc, and go long the Australian dollar. Oh yes, and the Americans have already shown us how much they rate the foreigner by their antics in the Middle East. It doesn't matter what they do, they can just kind of do what they wish. And so it seems as if, for also from my many years on Capitol Hill, that the foreigner is for free. The foreigner doesn't count. And what I mean by that simply is that, so what for the American congressman from my hometown in America, Eugene, Oregon, it doesn't matter that international markets are going completely all over the place. The main thing is that he got through his bill in Eugene, Oregon, his tax deductions for the local residents kind of thing, okay? So I really think that, it, it, that it's the default concern that is going to, and that's going to be a result of the congressional pie in the sky castle building fiefdoms where they don't care about the national good they never have. It's really about the next election getting reelected. All politics are domestic. Not off the back of what I've just suggested. This is, of course, only a view. What I do see happening is that you will find with a rocketing, with a rickety, not rocketing, but with a very rickety, brittle stock market going forward, one that is much more brittle than when we had those um, sequestration talks in 2011, and of course that fiscal cliff stuff that some people may remember. I don't think that emerging markets are going to be the place of choice. There is no such thing as decoupling. Where America goes, the rest of the world follows full stop in terms of America's stock market, which is fabulously big and it's the biggest girl on the block. So don't go emerging market stocks, don't go emerging markets currencies, just stick with the tried and the true, short the bonds, go long gold, go long Swiss, go long Australian, you'll at least be safe and better safe than sorry.